proactive messages are sent by a bot to start a conversation. Welcome messages and poll react responses for external event notifications are common scenarios when you'd want to use poll, uh, proactive messages. So in this section, we're going to learn how to send proactive messages from your bot. We're going to specifically cover proactive messages and creating channel conversations. Now you may want to start a conversation for a number of different reasons, including welcome messages for personal bot conversations, poll responses, and notification of event uh, external events. A bot that sends a message to start a new conversation thread is different than sending a message in response to an existing conversation. When your bot starts a new conversation, there is no pre-existing conversation to post the message to. Sending a proactive message to users can be an effective way to communicate with your users. However, from their perspective, this message can appear to come completely unprompted. Welcome messages will be the first time they've interacted with your app. So it's important to use this functionality sparingly provide them with enough information to let them understand why they're being mes uh, messaged. And proactive messages generally fall into one of two categories, either welcome messages or notifications. Welcome messages are when you want to proactively uh, message, you want to proactively send a message to send a welcome message to your users. And you must keep in mind that for most people receiving this message, they'll have no context on why they're receiving it. So welcome messages, they are also the first time they'll have interaction with your app. So it's your opportunity to create a good first impression. When you use a proactive message to send notifications, you need to make sure that you your users have a clear path to take common actions based on your notification and a clear understanding of why the notification actually occurred. Your team added bot can post into a channel to create a new reply chain. The following code that you see here on the slide demonstrates how to create a new message in the channel when the message new conversation is received by the bot. What you can see in the code on this slide is we have the on message handler and what it's doing is it's checking to see if it has the string new conversation in it. If it does, it's going to create a new message uh, for this context. It's going to send us like a brand new uh, message or new thread um, in this conversation. And it's going to do that by calling that method create conversation in channel. If we look at the next slide, you can see the method create conversation in channel. The first thing we'll do is we'll get a reference to the bot adapter and create a connection to the Microsoft Teams API. We're then going to create a new conversation and then get a reference to that new conversation that we're creating. And then we're going to send that conversation uh, using the adapter.continueConversation uh, method.